These are frameworks that, that, are, that are shared, that are public, and I encourage all of you to uh, look those up and find others. Um, but again, there is none that is the magic wand. It's not the magic solution. Um, they, a, a good framework has to uh, be relevant, be applied, and reflect one's own or one's organization's own priorities and strategies. In fact, I think the best framework, the most elegant framework, is one that any young journalist or reporter is taught when they first learn to become uh, a reporter or first go to journalism school. And it's based upon what I talked about before, listening and asking questions. So a good reporter is taught what are called the five W's. Who, what, when, where, and why. Because a good reporter, someone who wants to get information, but not information for the sake of, but relevant information to understand a problem or an issue, they need to be able to ask essential questions. And those five W's are easily ways in which you can ask an essential question. So, the key is the questioning. The key is to be able to find ways of getting relevant and meaningful information. So that's the key to a framework. So I hope the one lesson that you will get is that the framework itself is less important than the process of getting information and understanding a place that helps you fill out the framework, helps you develop the priorities, and then what you do with that. The implementation or the application of the knowledge and the information that you in fact get. So with that, I think it's important then that we begin to drill down into how to think about conflict and different ways of understanding the levels of conflict, and what we might want to know uh, as we analyze conflict itself. And so I'm going to look at those elements.